Hey, good evening. You know the deal. format tonight is I don't think you need the phone with this setup so as soon as you send in the questions I get them that aside this is the road to hell we're on I was looking around at some of the other dating sites and I was wondering even my own yeah even my own why people have to tell you have eye contact to smile to laugh is this how bad we've gotten we've forgotten this it's just really amazing, okay, the demasculization of, again, worldwide. It is going on worldwide. And you see it everywhere, and that doesn't bother me. You cooperate with it, that bothers me. You know, um, I had to change gyms because the other gym just became like guys shaving their legs. And nobody dates. So people don't know how to date. I get girls tell me crazy stories about dates. Guys do not have a clue how to date, how to ask questions. They take everything the news tells them as true, which is kind of, you know, to me, really crazy. But nobody has any feeling of personal powers or adequacy at all. Nobody. Nobody feels adequate. You know, everything. I'm too fat. I'm too this. I look stupid. It's true, but nobody cares. Nobody cares. But you can, and I'll tell you you can. They'll tell you over and over again. Every TV show now, I've watched some of them. Not the whole thing, I couldn't take it. It tells you how to feel totally inadequate with your life. Or, you have a medical condition. And this is constantly pumped into people's brains until you short out. You lose the gender, you lose the, um, the walk, the alpha walk, hey, how you doing? You don't hear that anymore, you hear, hey, how you doing? That's how guys sound. Um, it's just really become incredible. Um, when you tell guys, hey, you want to go out and play cards? I go, no, I can't. I don't watch the Oscars. You know there's a problem. It's, you know, I don't even know where to start or how to end it. But there's a big sale right now at themodernalpha.com for like the next, like, three hours. Everything is ten bucks, okay? Ten bucks. There's two fives, ten singles. Whatever, because if you don't alpha up, you're dead. And I know people think, well, I'm going to die anyway. At least die like a man if you're not going to live like a man. Well, no, forget that. Just live like a man and go do something about it. Anyway, I'm making a lot of sense here. Thank you. See that? That's not important. What is important is I'm being myself. And nobody else is being themselves. They're being the TV version of what TV wants you to be. And not like the TV stars, as you call them stars today, you don't have a strong male lead anywhere. But it is killing people so slowly and so definitely. The posture, you see people's postures like this. People's heads are over here. If I was one of the young people today, my head would be down here and just use the neck. From behind, you can't even tell these guys have heads. That's how bad it is. 
everything. Really, yeah, I tell you something really funny. I can put the nastiest comment on Facebook. Nobody cares. I put up anything spiritual or religious, I lose five friends. That's the world we live in. It sucks, okay? It sucks, but you don't have to go along with it. It's like, you know, that old thing, everybody's doing it. Yeah, everybody's doing it. You don't have to be part of everybody. You know, um, guys are just not growing up anymore. And my phone is ringing, which is funny because I unplugged it. You've got mail. And I've got mail at the same time. Call from Jedi. That's great, okay? I forgot to unplug the phone. It never rings. And I got a wrong number going on at this very moment. Proving that this show is live. Call from and proving I can't find, even find that phone. So anyway, I have a question coming Call in. You have another one? Need we'll get to your question in a second. This is just one crazy night. Call Talk about surprises we got one for you coming up. If that, see, I don't have the fax machine anymore. Call I used to pick up on that line. So Jedi. somebody's trying to send me a fax. Oh, we'll deal with that. Jedi. A couple of people left. They couldn't take the phone. I'm going to leave in a second. You deal with it. Ah, peace at last. If it's not that, it's something else. It's okay. At least I got the computer working. That's a good thing. For me, that's a miracle. All right, let's check out the questions here. Yeah, like I, I work as shit. Uh, <laughs> another question, okay. So you don't hear those crazy beeps anymore and that stuff? And the question is, Hey, hey, Gary. I like that. I try to figure this new set of checking messages on the show. I am an expert of on Pierce Morgan's interviewing a minister. Had the audacity to let him. Okay, I have to try to read this again. I am. An, I have an. I saw an excerpt. Okay, I don't have my glasses on because I look like a dick. Not that I worry what people look like. This is show business. Okay, I saw an excerpt of Pierce Morgan interviewing a minister. And had the audacity to tell him that the Bible should be changed. Piers Morgan is a fucking asshole. Oh, you really think so? It's funny that you say that because <laughs> I feel the same way. What Alex Jones did to him is great, okay? Uh, he ruined Piers Morgan. I mean, you've got to be an idiot. And Piers Morgan is to have Alex Jones on your show and not expect to get trounce because Alex Jones is a journalist. Piers Morgan is a repeater. He repeats what's popular. The fact that people don't have a right to defend themselves. That's a little fucked up. And people go along with that. That is the mainstream way of thinking. When the founding fathers put the Second Amendment in there to make sure all the other amendments were kept in order. But it's just really amazing how people give up their freedom just so easily. They talk to us on the news, if you listen to, uh, to them, just listen. And I, I know you did. I know it's Chris over there. Like we're a bunch of imbeciles. Seriously, they treat us like imbeciles. And every station is owned by the same people. And people go, oh, Fox News tells the truth. Really, it's owned by the same guys. It's like, okay, we'll tell lies on all the other channels, but Fox will tell the truth. No, the, the real truth comes from the ultimate media. Uh, and most of the guys in the ultimate media they have millions of followers, way more than mainstream, but they don't make any money. So you know that they're, they're real journalists out there. They have investigations. Uh, they broke, you know, Alex Jones broke Bilderberg wide open, as well as the Bohemian Grove, the satanic ritual. This whole country is satanic. Uh, interesting, when the first people came over here, a lot of them were Christians trying to get away from persecution. Why? Because the countries had been mostly indoctrinated into horrible satanic witchcraft. So a lot of the people came here were also witches and did witchcraft, and that lineage goes on today. I'll be having a special with Stephen Horn about this, because this is beyond belief. Anyway, um, let me just get to some questions. Yes, I have a double computer set up. I have no clue what the hell is going on. But that doesn't even slow me down. 
both of these are good questions. They have wrong button. Okay. This one goes here. This one goes out here. All right. I think I may have lost my internet connection. Well, the question will be coming up shortly as I am searching for internet connection. I'm sure it's a damn good question, but uh, we're going to have to wait on that. And while we wait, I'll have some soda. And a play song, of course. That uh, is everybody's favorite. is what is the best way to talk to a penny and I'm not being funny this stuff works if you don't think so you didn't try it get occult rituals the three disc set at garybrotsky.com why, why are they wishing wells all over the world before recorded time before there were even restaurants because they work water is energy and copper is a great conductor and you just simply take the penny and go, bring me luck. That's the best thing. Because people forget, you know, bring me luck could be money, could be women, could be anything you want. But if you just bring me money, you can get money, but it could be a will, an inheritance. You don't want to play that much. Or just prosper me is a little safer. Or bring me money in a very nice way. Now, vibration goes into the copper, copper goes into the water, and it works. That's why wishing wells are there, not so people in the restaurant at night can pick up all the change and go to the bank and put it in the machine, change, take it, change out. Now it's funny since this has been discovered, people are now taking the wishing wells in restaurants and closing them down by ordinance. Because why? Nobody wants you to know what works. Now this is not wicked stuff. This is just a cold stuff. That has been hidden to you, seized by the New World Order, and yes, they do exist. I used to work for them. So that you do not have the same power that they have. That's why they own everything, control everything, and brainwash you to make you dumb down. This country is so goddamn dumbed down. Uh, pretty soon, grunting is going to be an Olympic sport. I'm serious. And let me get some questions before I. Um, See this thing works. David does. David D. David D. Yes. Ah, Rupert Murdoch tweets P.S. Morgan support. Support for what? I gotta know. Fill me in. Alex, it's happening right now. What's going on? The brothers are here. Okay. Dragon's blood to describe that would take too long. Dragon's blood is what you write on. It's what every, you ever notice every religious text in the world has to be handwritten? And that is exactly why. And they use something that would be similar to Dragon's blood. It has been going on for thousands and thousands of years. They now call it Dragon's blood. These have a million names for it. Why does it work? I don't know, but it does work. Why is this computer working? I have even less idea about that. Okay. I'm using a different system today to find uh, my mice. Where are my mice? Huh. 
question. The heck did I just push here? Hey, with Nutribullet, I can lose five pounds a week. They got the free plug right here. I don't think that was the question. Okay, I'm, I'm stuck here now using this new system. Okay, let's see what happens when I push this button. Hey, everything's working. Not that good. Not that good, but it works. That's all that counts, right? I asked for a random Bible verse, and this is what I got. I was thinking about the New World Order. And it, to me, this proves the law of attraction yet again. Ephesians 6.12, Ages of Life by Heart. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against unseen powers, against evil rules of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Absolutely. The battle for earth, which is happening right now, sounds familiar, is always been spiritual. The rest is all window dressing. In their sick minds, okay, war is a human sacrifice. They know who's going to win or lose before the war even starts. They always finance both sides. Okay, PG and 613. Wherever, well, wherefore take unto you the arms which God hath bestowed upon thee, and ye may be and ye may be able to repel the assault of the enemy and stand mighty thereafter. Isn't it interesting that so many Bible verses have against thy enemies, against thy enemies? Well, guess what? We have enemies. And I'm having soda. I'm taking a quick soda break here. And then we're going to make fun of uh, dating gurus and all those other, other things. And... Uh, I'm playing some good music tonight. Hi, how you doing? A little more soda. It's only fun without these. Let's continue. As I was saying earlier, we're going to make fun of a lot of things tonight, but we're just starting. Okay, I have a comment coming here. Haven't seen the light of the smoke yet. What the hell? I'm a minute ahead of you, okay? I'm always one step ahead. Oh, okay. Well, I guess who's back with us tonight? Dakota Fanning. Hey, Gary, you are the best. I'm not going to argue with that. I am glad you exist on this earth. And you are the man. Everyone must know it. And your show rules. Gary rules. I'm keeping this one. I'm going to email it to myself. I'm doing it right now. That's how nice it is. And Dakota, I'm going to play a special song for you because, like, you're really hot and stuff like that. It works on guys. Let's face it, it works. If women knew how men thought, there would never be an argument about women's rights. It would just be like, um, I don't want that mansion. What do I have to do? Do I have to get a job, start a business, go for feminist meetings? No, blow the guy. Excuse me, Dakota, I wasn't talking about you. But uh, that works. And let's see if I can send this to myself with my new system. Of course not. Yeah, I'm running two computers tonight, which is bad enough when I run one.
I forgot to push a button. Nope, I did push the button. Okay, I'll just save that for later. If I push this button now, something will work. Okay, enough of this computer stuff. All right, David. I like this suicide soldiers. What is causing so many soldiers to commit suicide? Oh, I can tell you right now. I, that's a big subject. That's a lot more serious than what we ever get tonight. First of all, they are doing atrocities in other countries. Americans were not built to do that. They come back and they cannot take the guilt. Plus, the deadly thing out there today is SSRIs. And I don't care if I get sued for this shit. I got three drawers dedicated to lawsuits. Add this in. I don't care. The drug companies are, companies are not sponsoring this show. SSRIs, it says it on a label, may cause suicide. They don't care about soldiers. They don't. People say, support your troops. Most of them are homeless. Most of them are struggling. They're not supported. They're sent to illegal wars, number one. America is bombing Pakistan. Why? I don't know. They're in countries I never heard of. Is that a threat, an imminent threat? Where's the declaration of war? Why are you asking these questions? Maybe you are. For those who aren't, where are all the questions that normal people would have asked 20 years ago? Another question, why are one out of 16 kids now autistic? They have one third of every school, to, you know, designated for autistic kids. Now, if you notice, and this is something that's important, men, and this is a fact, we're physically stronger, but when it comes to biologically, most autistic people are men, most diseases men get, men tend to die 20 years earlier, and genetically, men have more birth defects, fluoride affects men faster, that's why we're losing men. We still have women out there, but men don't know how to talk to them. And by the way, I'm going to take a quick break, then I'm going to play a special song for Dakota. Um, I'm just getting hit from the U.S. Air Force right here. And, um, Discuss a few other things as soon as I take it on a soda break. And we find a good song for Dakota while I'm at it. No, no, not that one. Oh, okay, Dakota. You're gonna you're gonna have to deal with this song, but this is for you. Be 
If I chose the one. All right, that was Dakota. And Dakota, you know, throw something nice up on my Facebook. Or one of your friends. Well, what's going on here? Okay, more questions, more answers. That's how I like to do it. Mill Beer has low carb beer commercial. Out with wimpy guys being outworked in the gym by women. Most guys think it's funny. Why? Why? Brainwashing, social media, social engineering. You know, if you just think of how the New World Order works, okay? Do you remember the years ago, for those of you who are that old, they had Bobby Riggs. They love to play with, with names, and I'll get that in a second. Was beaten by Billie Jean King. That was a big feminist movement. And I wish there was still a feminist movement. Even though it was worthless, it sucked, and it meant nothing, at least we were aware of their femininity, which then suddenly disappeared. Not as much as masculinity. But Bobby Riggs means the game was rigged. Okay? Scribner. In books. In publishing. Look at the names. Gates. Bill Gates. Windows. Gates. Same thing. You'll find the company in names. I started the New World Order not only most of my life. I used to work for them. And um, it's really scary that they actually are doing everything they planned. They have not done one thing that they have not announced that they're going to do yet. And they're doing it. Okay, a religious question. I was going to ask you this, the Reverend. What does the Bible mean? Turn the other cheek. What are your thoughts? Thanks. I think, you know, that, that, that one's up for a uh, discussion all the time. It doesn't mean to take crap. Of course, Jesus himself took no crap from anybody. He was the first one, and here goes 20 people off the show right now, to say there's going to be no Federal Reserve when he threw the money changes, not the money lenders, out of the temple. He stood up to the Romans, he stood up to the Pharisees. He meant don't get mad right away. Think about it before you act. Because if you think about this, most murders happen at the spur of the moment, usually by somebody you know. Usually you know, by your wife. That, that's, you know, something anybody can relate to. In the heat of anger. So turning the other cheek, I believe, in my opinion, meant sort of just cool down and wait. It doesn't mean turning the other cheek. And then what about that would hit again? Then what? No, it means just like, okay, this happened. Hmm, how do I resolve this? Instead of reacting. That's my opinion. Unlike the constitutional questions, which everybody has an opinion on, even though the Constitution is a dead document. And the next question is, hey, you could write in a typeface I could read. You're staying on this show. Hey, Gary, Jason again. Why does Mystery have to wear that stupid hat and wear World War II shield glasses and act like a whiny ass bitch? Thanks, Jason. I have invited these guys to be on the radio show. And I don't know why they think that's attractive to women. How about just like a regular shirt and a normal walk? Because guys walk say pretty much they're going to have to walk on all fours. Posture is bad. Spirit is broken. Video games obsess their life. You know, as I said, uh, what are they going to tell their, their grandkids if they ever even get laid? You know, when I was your age for like 20 years, I played, you know, I, I have to make up names, I don't know the names of the really games. I played Doom, I got to, to level 10. What an asshole. Uh, you know, it's just, you don't even hear laughing anymore, nothing. And it's just not good. But boy, am I getting hit with questions here, which is good. For you guys. Just kidding. How long will the sale last? Uh, the sale is going to end actually about 2 p.m. tonight. And that was a promotional. And if, right now, everybody, go to the modernalpha.com and get How to Be a Prick. Everybody wants that on sale. It's on sale now. Everyone, what is that going to be on sale? It's on sale right at this moment 
I'll wait. And uh, it's, it's worth having because so many guys today, I mean, even friends of mine, it's like, you know, let me get back to you when she's not here. I never hear from them again. It's like, you want to go out today? Oh, let me call you back. Why? I got to check with my girlfriend. They are slaves to women. This is not a good thing. Slavery in any form sucks. Debt slavery, the slavery we have today. 47% of people live off the government. That's slavery. I think yes, Romney scared people. He said, I'll put you back to work. Oh, fuck that. No, I don't want to do any work. And there's so many entrepreneurial ideas. Look at these questions just keep piling up. I should have brought a change of clothes. I'm probably going to be here all night. Well, let's get to the next question. Which occult video do I get first? The three disc set mentioned? Yes. How do you use occult three disc set? Absolutely. That one has everything in there. All of them are good. But the three disc set really gives you a good balance. Because it's a balance of power. The New World Order is using it to screw up your lives, to take control of your life, to take control of your mind. Once you learn the occult, you realize how they're doing it, and you can fight back and get yourself back. Because people have lost themselves. You know, that, that was the old psychiatrist joke. You know, why don't you come see a psychotherapist? You probably just give out drugs. I'll help you find yourself. It's like, I, I know where I am. Um... My big joke was, you know, yeah, yeah, let him try, try find me the bill. But uh, what's this like? Question night here? Hey, Jared, how you doing? Thank you. It's a nice compliment. Dakota. Awesome song. Thank you, Gary. What's the name of the song? Make it with you by bread. If a woman acts like a lady. Feeds a man's ego. Oh, you got him already. You got him already. Making him feel like a hero. You should be doing this show. Appreciate him for what he does. This doesn't happen anymore, Dakota. What century is this coming from? And no matter how beta he is, from doing all those things without Alpha Room up, in about five seconds. Within about five seconds. But you know, people don't do that anymore. They don't build each other up. They tear each other down. That is the way of people today. And I'm going to go to a song and have more soda. And I'm going to get a good song here because I know you like one. <laughs> hey, Dakota, this one's for you, okay? Get pissed off. I don't know. time tonight, 2 o'clock in the morning, it goes off. Now, I'm not the web guy. I can't stop it. I cannot control this. This is going to happen with or without me. Just looking around. I do that sometimes. Make sure I have enough lights, cigarettes. I have plenty. Really, I have plenty. It's a long story. But, uh, yeah. Go ahead. I will wait. Uh, 
And uh, yes, more questions. Yes, this is a two computer system today. So it's uh, easy for me to read, as you can tell. Uh, <laughs> wow, you you were listening to uh, John Todd. I was listening tonight too. And I think everyone should listen to John Todd about the music industry. Because I'm going to give up rock and roll music too. And thank you for that. Actually, me and uh, Stephen uh, Horn are going to do a show on that. Gary, my friends are. My friends are or because strange women make proximity with me all the time. I tell them to look at their body language, to foot pointing towards no spine, no eye contact. This is because I haven't approached them. But the fact is, male proximity should be letting you know you're noticed. Do you agree or disagree with my friends? Well, I can't tell you if you should be friends with, but if you don't have sexuality radiating from you, Guess what? You're not going to get any reaction. That is just a fact of life. You have to love yourself, or at least like yourself, which most people don't today. And they start blaming everybody. Oh, he did this, he did that. You know, um, yeah, sure, why not? No, it's absolutely true. Uh, you radiate sexuality, you will get women. Especially today, women are starved, not so much for sex, but for love. And on sale now at themodernalpha.com for a couple more hours. Get the gentleman's guide to success and seduction. Because right now being a gentleman is so rare, it's like using a secret weapon that nobody knows how to use. And you'll see exactly how it's applied and why it works. How about some overtime? I don't know. I might or might not be able to do it tonight. Is it more attractive to babes to be husky or some meat on your bones? It's how you carry yourself that's attractive. Um, there's so much proof out there. Look at the biker clubs. They tend to be a little on the husky side. Some are thin. It doesn't matter. They feel confident in their self-image. Women are jumping all over them. It really matters. If you look at yourself and go, boy, am I fat. You're not attracted to women. You look at yourself and go, hey, this is funny, all right? You know, you can find imperfections in yourself anywhere. And this goes this is not just for you, but the entire audience. You can always find out what's wrong with you. But think about in terms of what's right with you. People don't do that anymore. Okay. Next question is... I like that. Thank you so much. Your interpretation of turning the other cheek was the best I have ever heard. They don't call me Reverend for nothing. Okay, next question. Can you play a song for me and dedicate it to Coda? Because she's great. Thanks. Yes, I will. And I'll try to play a normal song. I will use the word try very loosely here. This is from Jason to you. And I can get some soda. All right. Works out for everybody. Well, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance with the stars up above in your eyes. Fantabulous night to make romance Need the cover of all sorts of guys With all the leaves on the trees are falling To the sound of the breezes that blow Yeah, I'm trying to please to the calling Of your heart strings that play soft and low Yet all the nights my dreams seem to whisper and play yeah, all the sun moonlight seems to shine. Your pleasure. Can I just have one more morning dance with you? 
my love. I give up this mate, so I'm going to roll a mess with you. My love. Well, I want to make love to you tonight. I can't wait till the morning has come. Yet I know now the time is just right. And so okay, here's another question. It's a good one. Why do women fall for their gay friends when at the same time they don't want their men to be women? Please explain if you can. Yeah, reality is women think they like gay guys. They don't. They just think it's trendy. We will buy anything that's trendy. Louis Vuitton bag, 800 bucks, fucking piece of vinyl. Okay, but it's trendy, gotta have it. Same goes with them socially. Women do not like it because they act like women, and women hate each other. As opposed to the other dating guru was saying, well, in order to get a woman, you have to act like a woman. Don't they go deer hunting with these guys? What do they do, pee in the woods? I mean, just, uh, I don't want to get into that. Yeah, I'm going to get a big hat and goggles and see how many women you get. Let me know. All right, this is coming from the United States Air Force. How long until the government wants everybody chipped? Oh, they want it right now, but they have to wear people down a little more. And it's not the government that you see, it's the government that's behind the government. And tell the listeners to buy How to Dominate Women, it's awesome. And definitely buy gold. We have it in stock now, totally, fully stocked, gold, silver, and copper. It's right there at GaryBrotsky.com supplements. It works. Okay? Do not disregard an officer. Yakov, where have you been? Hello, good evening, Gary. I have a question. Once I got a woman's number. Hey, all right, yeah. How do I follow up and follow through? In other words, what's the best way to converse her on the phone? Thank you. I'll very simply answer that. Have a plan. Don't call up and go, hi, it's me. Uh, yeah. No, call up with a plan. Hi, we're going out Friday. We're going to have fun. Do not ask her. Because when you ask, you sound like a little kid. This goes for every guy out there. When you ask. You sound like a kid has permission. Is it okay to take you out? Is it okay? I remember when I was a kid. I was like 14 years in bed with this girl. She used to be on my face with that point of rap. She, she dropped off. And I said, is it okay if I touch your tits? She goes, if you have to ask, now. Guess what? No tits. Um, that was 14. That was a big deal. But just do it. Call up. But if you don't have a plan, you sound like a fool. Hi, I called to, um, uh, to talk to you because you know, you just, they know why you're calling, okay? They're not stupid. They may be irrational, but they're not stupid. So call with a plan. I'm taking you bowling. We're gonna we are going to have a great time. Here's some free pickup advice. You say I am taking you. You have now have power. Bowling. We are going to have a good time. First it's I, you have power, and then we. Now she's thinking together. A little play with words there. This next question. Okay, I got your body language book. It doesn't work over the phone. Okay, thanks. You know, I like this guy. Yeah, small one. Uh, but yeah, how to dominate women. It's not about tying up B and D. It's how to not get controlled. And there's so many forces out there to control you. You finally come to your own feet, you drop your defenses, and that's when you get hit. I really hurt. That's when you get hit. It's about controlling yourself. It's sort of like a book like Animal Farm, but it's an audio program which has a lot of hidden meanings in there. So definitely get that at GaryBrowski.com or if you want the uh, same version for a lot less money at TheModernAlpha.com you'll have, you have two hours. They're on Mountain Time, whoever does my website. Uh, ISA 6 and 7? No, we have MK 17 and MK66, much more powerful. The other stuff still works if you have it, don't complain, but it's much more powerful. 
Yes, no problem. Uh -huh. Alex, send me your address again. I accidentally sent it somewhere else. It's back. And I'm still laughing because I thought I got another one. It's just too funny. It's like it's haunting me. Please send me your address. Oh, I got an ad here. Let's see what's for sale. Okay, I'll definitely call you, uh, Mr. M. Uh, not tonight, but I'll call you tomorrow. We'll figure the whole thing out. Thank you. I'm supposed to look in the camera. That's absolutely true. All the male singers sing gay. If you listen to, I don't, I don't have it, I'll look for it, any of the singers from years ago, the whole idea of actually rock music was to eventually get to this point. So I want to play something from the past, and you can hear how a man's voice sounded. Just to the comparison to what sounds you hear today. This was considered a man's voice years ago. People go, holy shit, this guy's got a man's voice. But this is the difference. I saw the light on the night that I passed by the window. I saw the flickering shadows of love on the blind. She as she received me, I watched and went out of my mind. My God, my Delilah. Why, 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 Delilah? I could see. That girl was for me. And this guy's the guy whose name is not here, it's not important, it's a great question. I always find a way to use the words need, love, and the woman's name. I want to call her baby, but not sure if it's appropriate when first approaching her. What do you think? Okay, here's what I think. What I think is not important. Here are the facts. Just pretending the camera froze. Um when the word baby got introduced into rock and roll music, it was there for a reason. It drove women wild. Those same principles are alive today. Yes. Don't make it overt like, hey, how you doing? Baby. No, hey, baby, how you doing? It works. That is one of the uh, secrets hidden in rock and roll music. The word baby is what changed the world and made women promiscuous, sexual, and it's a powerful word. A lot of questions tonight. That's okay. That's why I'm here. This double computer system has to go. But um, until then, we're going to use it. Okay. Hey, Gary. Most of the dating girls out there are some of the biggest fags I've ever seen. Uh, hey, I really want to come in. Also, sorry, dating girl jerk off. Magic tricks are for kids. Well, you're right. I know tricks are for kids because um, I, I know this prostitute told me she's getting like you know a thousand dollars a trick. That was my attempt at humor tonight. I should get a laugh track in here. Okay. I was going to do that. I have some. Uh, <laughs> I think I have a friend who's an idiot. Um, never mind. I'm not getting into that. No. Then bring it to pale head stuff and you know lose the whole show right then. Okay. You know, up to question four. Are there forbidden books that Catholic Church does not allow people to, to read? I'll tell you the forbidden book, okay? And I have witnesses on here. They took all the Bibles out of the churches. How's that? You got to take the guy's word for it. Most of the time, they're quoting Shakespeare. I don't even go to church anymore. I've seen the 12th night. 
I've seen two gentlemen from Verona. They quote the obscure books. You know, I actually heard this in church more than once. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. Now, Jesus was all about charity and helping people out. And this guy's quoting Merchants of Venice. What the hell is going on? But, yeah, the church has taken Bibles out. And that's the first book you should get. That's how sad it is. This is a poem here? Why is it people who will never get any where anywhere successfully criticize wealth happy people living yet at the end of the day when they're broke and say if I only had a million I'd blah 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 this is a quote and then they will and then they will get a woman if they had a nice car because they're fucked up okay seriously I have shit to do with a car you know an asshole in a car is an asshole in a car that's it. Nobody says, this guy's got a nice car, I gotta do it. No, they do it by the content of your character, your skill, and your knowledge. That's why it should be at GaryBrass.com or right now, the ModernAlpha.com. And I don't want to hear any email say, hey, I missed your sale, but I saw your show. It ends at 2 o'clock this morning. I can't do shit about it. Get How to Be a Prick and How to Dominate Women. Ten fucking bucks. I'll wait. I guess you're all gonna have to wait with me, right? All right, I think it's time for a song, even though I have, I'm out of soda, which I can deal with. Just going to play a nice song here. And smoke a little cigarette. All right, I like the song for reasons that many of you might or might not know. We're not going to hear the whole thing. Don't worry about it. Okay, some more puffs. I'm back with you guys. And ladies. Giving me computers is like giving Stevie Wonder car keys. Uh, Alex, no, they're not on special, but I will put them on special just for you. Yes, that's the last time, too. Didn't work. Just kidding. That's a great idea. <laughs> okay, Gary, you helped me land my wife by using a who cares less wins attitude. That works. Also, the word need, not want, I use on my wife, and she runs a million dollar company. Act and act boldly, and unseen forces will come to your aid. Okay, that's wisdom right there. <laughs> That's the mess of the fucking horse, okay? Um, <laughs> this is getting too funny. Okay, uh, I'm forwarding this to myself, uh, Alex. And I know why the forwarding wasn't working before, but I got that fixed. Because I was using the wrong mouse. I have mice all over the place. Use the wrong one again. This is great, huh? Right, well, this isn't working either. That's oh, so what it is now. Okay. I just got an email, but for me. 
David, what's up? Is it too forward to ask a girl to put out on the first time you meet her? No, but don't ask. Just keep moving forward until you get resistance. If you get resistance, stop. But if you got the right moves, she will not resist. They know why you're there. They know you're not there to sit there and read literature. Just don't ask. Just keep moving forward. Gary, tell everyone, everyone, listen. Buy act as if and how to act as if because it works. I hear it all the time. Well, thank you, Jason. And people, it's a GaryBrass.com, by the way. And it's also for sale the Modern Alpha. You got an hour, uh, two hours left. Dakota, how are you? Okay, let's see. Thank you, Jason. See? Thank you, Gary. Always awesome songs playing. Here, a guy says, I wouldn't ever hurt you or ever. I wouldn't ever hurt you ever. And I would kill anyone that would. Is that just another line to say you can get action? Did it work on you? Because I'll say it right now. <laughs> just uh, I think people mean what they say at the time, especially with relationships. And then it's like, I want to fuck that. <laughs> it's just, but at the time, who knows, really? You know, you can't read minds, but you can read body language. And if you haven't had your heart broken, you know what it means? You don't have a heart. Just letting you know what's happening. Some people consider the two computer solution cool. Can you go with the high power three monitor panorama? Yeah, I'll go right to that. <laughs> okay, I'm reading this one. What's the best way to display confidence to women? By being self-confident. Total confidence with women. The Modern Alpha or GaryBrass.com. Right now, get it. I've heard you say that women, that's absolutely true. What looks are to men, confidence is to women. And a careless attitude always works. I'd feel silly and singing and dancing in drugs. So what can I what would be the best response? Don't sing and dance in the drugstore. Okay, last question of the night. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Of course. All right, everybody, this hour really shot by. And I got a good exit song. And thank you the wrong mouse again. Thank you all for being here. Uh, next week we'll try it with five computers and just see how crazy it is. Again, thank you all for being here. Great night. Flew right by. And this will be up on YouTube. Remember, thumbs up, okay? Good night, everybody, and thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.